hello uh, welcome to our video in this video uh, we will see that how we can deploy hugging face uh, model to our SageMaker okay so this is my hugging face website which is a uh, you can say a publicly available model and and this is a website which has some certain models and data sets which are publicly available so you can choose any of the models right so i'll be ch choosing this this these types of model distilbert models which is a base uncased okay and uh, uh, let me start with the scratch let's uh, may let's start with the sage maker first so first of all what you will be having you will be having one amazon sage maker you must be having one aws account and you must know that what sage maker is okay so let's get started with this sage maker okay so this is what SageMaker is. This is your SageMaker. Let's go to it. Okay. So this is your SageMaker, Amazon SageMaker here. Yep. And here in this getting started part, what you can do, you can just check, you can create a rule, you can launch SageMaker, these all are options. So let me tell you uh, what is SageMaker and why it is uh, widely used, okay, and why it is being widely used. So Amazon SageMaker provides machine learning capabilities that are purpose built for data scientists and developers to prepare, build, train and deploy high quality ML models efficiently. Uh, so by starting this amazon SageMaker, by searching this from here you can get this uh, window and from here you can launch your SageMaker. and once you click on this SageMaker, you will be asked to launch your SageMaker, and probably you will be launching one SageMaker domain and then in that you will have to create one user and from that user you will be creating that user from here okay and then you will be moved to this let me show you how you can get this okay so once you create your domain your go you will be asked to uh, quickly set up your domain and you will be probably asked this one and if you don't have any user you will have to add your user so you can click on this and you can add user as i have already added one so i won't be use, uh, adding further because it costs you a lot uh, using SageMaker because it is a pay to use how uh, whatever request you would be uh, making you would be paying for it okay and uh, this is a uh, basically like service which uh, is paid okay and uh, this is the general setting it will ask you to you add user profile it will automatically create one uh, role for you you don't have to work for it you can name your user profile from here then click on next and then again you can click on next and then configure your studio ui you I, I just don't need to make anything any changes or anything i will just click on the next and then it will ask me to uh, customize studio ui i don't want to do this i don't want any changes and then i'll just click next and after clicking next i'll be here to review and create my user okay so these all are uh, ml tools which will be visible in your uh, user domain okay so uh, once you click on this uh, submit button it will create your user right so uh, as i have already created one uh, uh, so as i said i won't be uh, creating another this is this this domain is ready and in this domain i am having uh, my user already once you create your domain just uh, keep this in mind once you create a domain so your domain is not uh, basically charged and it it takes some time to set up your domain so uh, keep calm and let your uh, domain be set up and then you can go to user profiles and in that i am having this user and i have launched this while using you will be getting these three options okay so this canvas i think you know what is canvas spaces and studio so in this project i would be uh, using studio much so i have choose uh, studio here and when i chose this studio option at uh, this uh, stuff opened okay and it asked me to create a sagemaker studio it, it was a sagemaker studio then what i did 
I just opened my Jupyter Lab space and then in this Jupyter Lab space I created as you can also create one Jupyter Lab space okay and so I created one Jupyter Lab space this is uh, the name of my Jupyter Lab space this is hugging face uh, the, the name of this because I want to deploy and run my hugging face uh, model in this so I just named it hugging face okay and you can make this and while selecting instance make sure that you select an instance which is supported by uh, hugging face models okay so whenever you are creating you will be needed this types of large instance okay this this ml.t3.medium as I was uh, like being introduced to it so when I made it I just made this uh, ml.t3.medium and which didn't support it actually so this is a, uh, a important point to note that ml.t3.medium or medium uh, stuffs medium instances medium type of instances won't be supporting into this and then uh, you should select an instance which is large okay it would charge you uh, like it would charge you a bit more than medium uh, for an hour so I, I will suggest you to just uh, go with the large one and then run your model efficiently okay so after that i just opened my jupyter lab and from that jupyter lab i opened my python studio okay i just opened my python and python notebook in this notebook i just uh, wrote this code this is the code in which i will be importing boto3 then imported sagemaker then from sagemaker dot hugging face i imported hugging face model which which supports this one okay and then import logging import time so i just uh imported and i set this logging level to suppress info messages because i i when i was working on it i was getting a lot of uh, logged messages so i just uh, like uh, suppress those info messages and then initialized both of three clients for s3 because you must have a file or an instance or a bucket uh, created if, and if you are uh, not having that it will create one okay so for that i i just wrote this to uh, initialize boto3 client for s3 and then i just defined a unique bucket name because i want i wasn't having any bucket so i created a bucket so you should name a unique name for your bucket because if it globally exists it, it wouldn't run okay so you should choose a bucket name which is unique so this is my uh, SageMaker bucket this was uh, and and I just included the time in which, which, which it was made to make it more specific okay and then I chose my region region should be your region like if you are having your AP South see my region is AP Southeast too you can see this from here so uh, I just entered my correct region and then created the S3 bucket the try accept code because if, if this exists in uh, other uh, in my location so if this bucket exists so this try accept was exception if uh, my to create my s3 bucket basically okay i won't be discussing it much because it is understand uh, understood code it is understood code so next is initialize a sagemaker session then you will have to initialize a session which is sesh is equal to sagemaker dot session and then default bucket was my bucket name only okay next was to get the uh, sagemaker execution role or if you are not having a sagemaker execution role then you will have to create one okay so i just wrote this code uh, role is equal to sagemaker dot execution rule and then if i am not having then accept this was my uh, if, if i am getting any error then this was to uh, set up the execution rule or i am role i can say okay next was to configure the hugging face model and environment parameters so whatever model you will be selecting so this is this was my example model as i selected distal bird base uncased and it is a text classification uh, task okay you can select any of these like you can select distal bird base uncased distal squad this one also you can copy and and then you can paste it here and because this one a question answer this this model is a question answering model you can set up this and right here question answering simply and then instance type as whatever the instance type is you can just uh, keep that here 
I, I just told you uh, earlier that I have selected ml.m5.large because it was supported instance type. Then you will have to create a hugging face model in SageMaker and this was my version okay and as I configured it then deployed this model instance type was as same as my instance type instant initial instance count was one because i was having the just one then i send a request to the endpoint and get the response the data was inputs like hello my dog is cute and whatever you can you can take your example as data whatever uh, data you want and then result is equal to predictor dot predict this is a function to predict the data whatever the result of the data and then i just made this predictor dot delete endpoint this was to uh, just suppose you are working and, and uh, to like prevent myself for from extra charges whatever uh, this sage maker would be applying on me so I just deleted this endpoint as soon as it runs it would delete okay so endpoint was also cleaned so this was the whole code I hope you understood it better I hope uh, now you know whether uh, where you can make changes in this code so just just write it like this only okay set this up set up your region name and whatever your region name is suppose ap south is 2 so if your region is this you can se select your region next you can also uh, change your uh, model type you can change your uh, model id model task you can change that okay you can change uh, your instance type suppose this is instance type which is supported and many more uh, large instance types are supported okay so you can go through the documentation and once you run this or once you will uh, suppose if you enter any instance type which is not supported so uh, it will show here show you here that these all are supported and and this uh, is not supported so you should select any of the instances from these okay so in that error only you will see what are the supported instances so after this i just uh, started and and clicked on this to run this cell and advance to the next cell so here this was the location this this was bucket was generated okay and this was the result i got yep score was 0.50690 so it ran successfully and this is how you can test and deploy your task so i hope this was clear to you this was much clear to you and uh, let's meet in our next video till then thank you